Ellis, this guy's name is Eddie Harris, and back in 1982, he was convicted in the rape and the murder of a young woman here in Los Angeles. He went to prison for more than 30 years for that crime, and then recently, a few years back, the state of California decided to parole him, to release him. Well, now he's accused of killing here in L.A. yet again. Law enforcement sources tell me this is 67-year-old Eddie Allen Harris. According to court documents obtained by Fox 11, Harris was convicted of murder in L.A. County back in 1982. In that case, sources tell me Harris raped a woman and stabbed her to death in 1981, leaving her body in a Los Angeles alley. Sources tell Fox 11 Harris was convicted and sentenced to 15 years to life, spending over 30 years in prison before eventually being paroled around 2018. Law Law enforcement sources say after only three years of being on parole, the state of California lifted Harris's parole supervision in early 2021. And less than a month after that decision, he allegedly committed another stabbing murder in L.A. while at the age of 67. According to LAPD, at about 5.30 a.m. on March 23rd last month, they were called out to East 59th Place and South Main Street in South Los Angeles, where they found a black woman in her 30s or 40s dead in an alley with multiple lacerations to her body. Sources tell me she had been stabbed to death. Court documents obtained by Fox 11 show that Harris is now charged with the murder murder of that woman, who we are not identifying because her family has not yet been notified. Arrest records show that Harris was booked into Twin Towers jail on April 8th, and the 67-year-old currently has a $2 million bond. There's just too many awful examples of people who commit horrible, uh, egregious crimes in later years. Larry Morse is the legislative director for the California District Attorneys Association. He says, expect situations like this to happen more often. Now that California has reduced elderly parole eligibility, even for murderers, down to age 50. A lot of criminals are still very active and very capable of inflicting uh, unimaginable you know, pain and suffering on people after 50 years of age. When I reached out to the California Department of Corrections to ask exactly when and why Harris was paroled, the state told me they can't give me any information about him or his prison history, citing concerns it would interfere with LAPD's investigation. There is a headlong rush in Sacramento to pass any and everything that can be characterized as criminal justice reform. The fact of the matter is a, a great deal of what is coming out of Sacramento these days is not reform, it's reckless. And again, it's unclear exactly why the state of California felt that this convicted murderer was suitable for release, for parole supervision. Again, they were telling us that they can't release any information about him whatsoever because of LAPD's ongoing investigation. But the bottom line here, guys, is the state gave this guy a second chance, and he is now accused of blowing that second chance and killing yet again. His arraignment is set for the morning of May 17th. We're live in West L.A. tonight. Bill Malugin, Fox 11 News.